What's going on, guys? It's the Honda Baron, and it's been a while. I apologize. I, uh, I see I keep getting more and more subscribers. People are commenting. You guys are interacting with my videos, and I'm just nowhere to be found. Well, it's finally spring here in beautiful southern Ontario, and got some news, got some updates. Just got some things to share with you guys. This will be another one of those videos. I know I did one last year and then barely made any content. I will try to be responsible this year. Make more videos for you guys. But the first thing I want to talk about is I got a new bike. I sold my 250. Probably one of the biggest regrets so far of my motorcycling uh, experience. And I don't like the bike I bought, but I'm going to share it with you guys. Talk about it a little. Talk about it a little and uh, explain what I would be doing next. So, without further ado, I jumped into the cruiser life. Yeah, buddy. So I picked up this beautiful, chromed out 2007 Suzuki C50. It's 800cc cruiser, and objectively it's a great bike. Unfortunately, I don't really like it. Uh, I'm gonna talk about that maybe in this video, but I uh, just wanna give you guys a little bit of update, explain what happened with my 250 and again what I hope to achieve this summer with my channel thank you to all you guys that are commenting and subscribing I am always surprised when I log on and I have you know 30 or 40 more subscribers every few weeks I really appreciate you guys I love you guys so let's uh let's hop on this bad boy and explain where I've been and just a few other things that have been going on with me so far Oh, it's a piggy. Oh, where's the key? Come on. Where's the key? Oh, my God. So, the one good thing about this bike is that it does sound pretty good. I hope it's not too loud. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Alright, so, I barely, barely posted last year, I think it was a rough year for everybody with COVID and everything, I ended up losing my job because of COVID, and rather than, you know, try to figure something else out, I am currently taking uh, I just finished my first semester of civil engineering courses well I've got two more exams but I'm just about finished my uh, first semester of civil engineering and with the goal to be a civil engineer I'm not that old it's never too late to go back to school yada 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 so I might as well get out of the marketing and uh, transportation side of things and hop back into or hop into engineering. I've always liked engineering. The way things work is uh, very interesting to me, especially when it comes to like civil infrastructure, that kind of thing. But that's all this video is about. Well, partially what it's about. So I've been busy with school for the past few months. I have been riding. I've been riding a lot. Um, if you saw one of my last videos, I oh I think I'm in a bit too low of a, too high of a gear there. If you saw one of my last videos, I had uh, picked up a beautiful, lovely Honda. CRF 250L. This is a Suzuki uh, Boulevard C50. So I guess I am no longer the Honda Baron. For now, for now. I'm working up to my dream bike of the uh, Honda Africa Twin. And uh, we will continue being the Honda Baron now and then. But uh, yeah, I sold the sold the 250. I, I kind of regret it, but and I will explain it in a uh, I will explain it in an upcoming video why I sold it and why I regret it but for where I live this it doesn't really make sense to own a bike like that and I just was not going to be taking it up north on a trailer and uh, dicking around with all that I mean how many times have I done that in a year probably not many not enough to make it worth it and and, and the bike the bike a bike like that deserves someone to actually ride it regularly out on the trails you know beat it up so I decided what how would I try I've had a sport bike I've had all I've had the adventure bike, I had the dirt bike, so I thought, I'm going to jump into a cruiser. Well, 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 it turns out, and again, I'll make a video about why, it turns out I don't like cruisers. There's nothing wrong with them. I don't, I don't, I don't hate cruisers. I don't, I have nothing wrong with guys that ride cruisers. I, 
I like how cruisers look. There are a cruiser. There are a lot of cruisers that I do like. Um, but, but so this one came up with an amazing deal. But the problem is, I just don't like riding it. I don't like the position. I I I'm, I haven't even owned it a month, and uh, I'm I'm actually trying to sell it. Hopefully, trying to sell it. My next bike will be. I have gar I have narrowed it down. It's not a Honda because Honda does not make a bike that fits exactly into this category yet. But uh, I will be getting a another Suzuki V-Strom 650. To me, that thinks that seems on paper to be the perfect bike. So I think that is what I will be uh, trying out next. I've got one lined up. I'm going to see one on Saturday. Obviously, I'll let you guys know if I buy it or not. But uh, that is going to be the. Uh, hopefully next bike I get. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, on paper, the V-Strom 650 seems perfect. I like the adventure bike. I like sitting upright. I don't want the 1000. I'm not really a fan of, uh, of super big bikes. And again, for the kind of riding I'm doing, uh, 1000, I don't go on the highway too much. So I feel as though 1000 would be a little bit overkill. It's heavier, takes premium gas. It's not as fuel efficient. Maintenance is gonna be more money. I'm a cheap bastard, if you guys didn't know. So, everybody's out today. So, uh, so that's going to be the next bike. I'm looking at a 2000, that generation, like 2007 to 2012. I think it's second generation, I'm not too sure. I think they're the least problems, and, and they're super, well, not super cheap. They're reasonably priced around here, and, and there aren't a lot available, so I, I've, I've jumped on the one that did come up. But uh, hopefully that will be the next bike. And I don't believe Honda really sells one in that range. They do have the uh, they do have the NC 700, I think, right? That's the bike, NC 700, which is kind of like their upright adventure bike. But apparently it's just not the same. It's got uh, it caps out at I think 6,000 RPM, so it's kind of low revving. It's, I've read it's very soulless. Um, and the other thing I like about the V-Strom is that there is a huge, huge aftermarket. There's forums. Really, it's like uh, it's probably one of the most popular type of adventure bikes. And there's you've got Strom Trooper forums. You got ADV Rider. Everybody is riding these bikes, and there's so much support online. There's tons of aftermarket parts. And the other thing I was looking at was uh, I was looking at the Saddle Sore 1000, and a lot of those top bikes are. Uh, BMWs, which I, I'm not a fan of for now, for now, I mean, my opinions can change. Um, so a lot of those are BMWs, but there were a few V-Strom 650s in there. I think might have been 1000s, but I, I think there was a few V-Strom uh, 650s in the top 10 or 20 there. And uh, I, I want to do that, and I don't want to keep buying different bikes. It's fun to try them out, but I, I, uh, I am wasting a lot of time every time buying a new one. And I just want to find the bike that I like, you know? And to me, I'm hope, hope, hoping, hoping it's the um, B Strom 650. Don't get me wrong, I love the 250, but again, for the kind of riding I do, mostly city with a little bit of like easy gravel roads, easy quote off road. It's it was just it was not the right bike for here. If I lived up north in northern Ontario um, and had access to like so many logging roads and and uh, and easier uh, dual track trails, sure. That would be a great bike to have. Look at this clown. That would be a great bike to have, but just around here, mostly tarmac, it uh, it wasn't ideal. So I'll, I'll be sharing all these in future videos. And I just wanted to say that uh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry for not uploading as much. Uh, it's just I'm an autistic degenerate. What can I say? I'm, I have zero responsibility. <laughs> and uh, obviously that shows, but I will try, try, try I'm so inspired watching some of you guys, so I will try, 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 try as hard as I can to upload at least semi-regularly. Look at this. Beautiful flowers on the right, buddy on the left. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll come up with like an upload schedule or something. Just make things a little bit easier for me. Um, so there's no pressure, you know. Anyways, that's, uh, that's basically what I wanted to cover just right now, and I'm going to... Uh, actually going to jump right into another video once I uh, get around this corner here. Look at all these beautiful colors, guys. Spring has sprung here in Southern Ontario. Do you yell something? Oh! 
Look at that. How oh, lovely. Alright guys, so as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> as always, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my future videos. I love you guys. I love the interactions I have with you guys. So much, so much insight. So many great comments. You guys are, you folks are a lovely bunch. And uh, I do not want to let you down because it seems like some of you do want to see some of my content. So I'm going to be, I promise, uploading more regularly. At least one video per week. And, uh, and yeah. Alright guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the next video.